Hello guys, thank you for coming back today. We are going to react to 10 things that were invented in Germany and changed the world. I hope you really enjoyed this video and watch till the end. Diesel engine. Amongst the top German inventions, the diesel engine invented the pressure ignited heat engine, which went on to become the predominant power source for large industries. The diesel engine, named after Rudolf Diesel. After I have heard that the diesel engine came from Germany. Okay, this is normal knowledge. After getting his degree in engineering in 1880, Diesel returned to Paris when he designed and built a modern refrigeration and ice plant. Experimenting with steam and ammonia vapor, Diesel eventually settled on an oil-based fuel that was injected at the end of compression and ignited by the high temperature resulting from compression. In 1896, Diesel demonstrated an engine with an unheard of 75% efficiency and although refined many times over the years, the diesel engine that we use today is essentially Diesel's 1896 design. Diesel envisioned his engine being... So since then it is the same design, it hasn't changed what he's saying. I don't think that's right, but used by individuals and small companies to compete with larger companies in areas such as farming and construction. Today, the diesel engine is indispensable in the transport and construction industries. Number yeah. 9. Bunsen Burner The Bunsen Burner was invented out of need and opportunity. In 1852, the University of... Okay, I don't know what the Bunsen Burner is, but... Heidelberg I mean, is that a small thing that uh, should flame? I don't, I don't know how to say. It. Wanted to hire noted chemist Robert Bunsen to head their chemistry department to lure him. Oh, they this one, to build a this new small thing. Laboratory. <laughs> like many European cities okay. at that time, Heidelberg was installing cold gas lines for street and house lighting. The designers of the new laboratory took advantage of the new gas lines and planned to install gas not only for illumination but for laboratory experiments as well. The new laboratory opened in 1855 with 50 Bunsen burners ready for students and researchers to use. In 1857, Bunsen published a paper describing his burner design and laboratories around the world began to adopt his superior burner design. Well, Germans Number are really eight, smart. Electron microscope. One of the key inventions of the 20th century is the electron microscope. It allows objects to be magnified up to 10 million times, and it has literally changed okay. how we see the world. In 1931, the German physicist Ernst Ruska and the electrical engineer... Okay, Germans have made a lot of beautiful examples here, that why they have changed the world. And they keep changing the world still today, making new inventions every day. I don't know what are some of the newest that Germany has made, but there are a lot of, as I have heard. Near Max Knoll created the first working electron microscope. Their early prototypes weren't able to magnify as much as an optical microscope, but by the late 1930s, Ruska and Knoll had significantly improved the devices. An electron microscope uses electrostatic and electromagnetic lenses to form an image by controlling an electron beam that is focused on a target object. It allows objects as small as a single atom to be viewed. Work on the electron microscope halted during World War II. After the war, scientists from all around the world began working on improving and refining Ruska and Knoll's design. They created the scanning electron microscope, which detects electron emissions from a target, allowing scientists to see more objects than is possible with Ruska and Knoll's design. They also created the Reflection Electron Microscope, which detects elastically scattered electrons. This allows scientists to see how particles interact with other matter. Number 7. Printing Press The method of printing from movable type was invented okay, there's by a Johann lot of inventions here. sometime around 1456. The scope of the invention included the creation of a metal alloy that melted easily and cooled quickly which was used to form durable, reusable type and oil-based ink that was thick enough to adhere to the metal type then transferred to paper or vellum and a press. The press needed to apply firm, even pressure to the printing surface and it was likely adapted from existing vine, oil or paper presses. Gutenberg was born in the German town of Mainz and became skilled in metal working. By 1450, Gutenberg received a loan from a financier named Johann Fust to continue his printing experiments. When Gutenberg was slow to repay the loan, Fust sued and won control of the type and press. 
It was under Fuss's name that the first printed works, the 42-line Bible and a Psalter were released. The Psalter in particular was magnificently decorated. Gutenberg's contribution was recognized, however, because by 1465, he was receiving a pension from the Archbishop of Mainz that included grain, wine, and clothing. Number 6. Radar System it was first indicated by James Clerk Maxwell in his groundbreaking work okay, on electromagnetism that here. building of radar-like systems is possible. It was materialized only at the outset of the 20th century that different instruments and gadgets made use of electromagnetic principles with German scientist Christian Holzmeier developing a ship detection system primarily aimed to guide to ships safely really from the sea really haze. Designing such systems which allowed the production of small radio energy pulses was an important step towards the creation of contemporary radar systems. Amongst the popular German inventions in marine engineering and aerospace engineering, radar systems picked up quick progress during World War II and were the key element that steered the Allies toward success. Number 5th, the tape recorder. The next time you listen to okay. music on the go, remember to thank a couple of German inventors. The first practical tape recorder, the Magnetophone K1, was demonstrated in 1935. During World War II, the Allies became aware of simultaneous radio broadcasts with unusual... As we can see, Germans have made some inventions that are really necessary for today's time because there are a lot of things that have come from their inventions. As we see, there are a lot of inventions as we see here, but there are a lot more in the outside. If you get a book, read something, you would find that there are a lot of inventions which uh, Germans have made and are making today that will change the world, the world even in the future. So let's keep looking at it. Truly high quality. They were aware of the existence of the magnetophone recorders, but they didn't know about the existence of high frequency bias and PVC backed tape. During the war, the Allies captured a number of German magnetophone recorders from Radio Luxembourg. It was an American audio engineer, John Mullen, along with the famous crooner Bing Crosby, who really put magnetic tape on the map. During the closing days of the war, Mullen was tasked with learning about German radio and electronics. At a studio in Bad Neuham, he picked up magnetophone, high-fidelity recorders, and 50 reels of recording tape. Crosby eventually invested $50,000 in the California electronics company Ampex, which became the world leader in tape recording. Number four, the MP3. So you are saying that Ger uh, that Americans stole this invention from Germans? Okay. Music format. MP3 stands for MPEG Audio Layer 3, and it is a standard for audio compression, whereby music files are made smaller by a factor of 12, with little or no loss of quality. MPEG is an acronym for Motion Pictures Expert Group and is a group of standards for audio and video that are set by the Industry Standards Organization ISO. The first standard, MPEG, okay, there are a lot appeared of things in 1992 and it was for low bandwidth. Later on, the high bandwidth compression standard MPEG 2 was introduced, which was good enough for use with DVD technology. MPEG Layer 3 or MP3 involves only audio compression. In April 1989, Germany's Fraunhofer Institute received a German patent for MP3, and in 1992, it was integrated into MPEG-1. In November 1996, MP3 received a patent in the US, and in 1998, Fraunhofer began enforcing its patent rights, making developers of MP3 encoders and decoders pay a licensing fee. In the early 1990s, Fraunhofer tried to create an MP3 player, but it wasn't until the late 1990s when MP3 was integrated into the Windows operating system with WinAmp that playing MP3s really caught on. Number 3. Coffee Filter Melita Benz, okay. a Dresden housewife, grabbed her- So they have made the filter for the thing that I love for coffee. <laughs> moment in 1908 when contemplating why her coffee was always overbrewed and bitter. She wanted to eliminate the harsh flavor created by boiling loose grinds or using the traditional linen technique of brewing coffee. Benz patented the invention after realizing she could make a more delightful cup by filtering away the loose grounds with an improvised paper filter and the family firm Melita Group KG now employs about 3,300 people. 
Hence, we hope that this video helped you explore the earliest and greatest German inventions which brought technological advancements that blow your mind how these inventions changed the world. Number 2. Chip Card The products of German ingenuity are in your wallet too. Chip and pins, SIM cards, they have credit made... cards, health insurance cards, really? IDs, okay. and other anything else that holds data on a chip. It started in the finance sector when banks decided that a magnetic strip and signature wasn't secure enough and looked for alternative solutions. German engineers Jürgen Detloff and Helmut Gottrup developed the microprocessor cards as early as 1969. So they changed the world completely as we see. Germans have made a lot of things. And patented them in 1977. Today, smart cards and chips are being woven into passports in Germany and Belgium, social security cards in Austria, and permanent resident cards issued by the Department of Homeland Security in the United States. Number 1. X-Ray Generator German inventors and thinkers have dominated science They have made this also. Okay. Okay. For they centuries. Are as well as discovering whole fields of medicine such as bacteriology, Germans are also responsible for some of the medical inventions we take for granted. The physicist Wilhelm Conrad von Röntgen discovered X-rays in 1895. Since then, its oh. use in radiography has only increased with almost 200 million X-rays taken each year in the US alone to diagnose everything from broken bones to pneumonia. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech info. Till next time. So guys, this was my reaction to 10 things that were invented in Germany and changed the world. It was really great, to be honest. I, I was shocked a bit because there were a lot of inventions that I didn't know that were made in Germany and I took them for granted. And to be honest, so it was great to know that so many things were made in Germany and so much more are made in Germany even though we don't appreciate as much as we should those inventions they have changed our lives and they are keeping our lives like it is today better and better and they are making the world a better place every day I hope you really enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe